from dropping every single thing today. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Happy 2020! I'm so annoying. Today, I'm gonna be showing you this shirt is everything. Grab it! It's on clearance. $2 at Walmart. Mmm! Alright, so speaking with clearance staff, um, for today's video, I have some clearance makeup that I am going to test it out today. Now, obviously, these products are no new. They're from the drugstore. Uh, moving on, let's go ahead, guys, and jump into this video. See this makeup in action. This hair situation, just ignore. I can't do anything about it. We're just going to put her out. All right, kind of like get situated just a little bit. That's the most, <laughs> that's the most I can get. Go ahead and prime our lids. Oh, by the way, with the power of editing, no brows to browse on. All right, guys, so now moving on, let's go ahead and prime our lids. And for today's primer, I have here, what? And for today's primer, I have here Milani eyeshadow primer. I don't even know, like. Come on, where are you? There you are. Uh, I don't know if I should put... <sighs> that might be a lot, but... Ooh, we'll see. And with a clean elf, what? Elf Flawless Brush Conceal... <laughs> elf Flawless Concealer Brush. I am going to just blend it. Blend that eye primer or eyeshadow base. You know what, guys? I have, like... I don't know what's going on with my eyes. No, eyebrows. I don't know. Like it is so distracting in my viewfinder. Again, if I am not filming, I am not um, wearing makeup. So every time I do makeup, I actually sound. But girl, it's all right. All right, now our eyeshadow base is laid down. I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow application. I'm sorry, guys. I lied in my intro. This is actually not a full-on drugstore makeup. I was actually trying to use this one here because I've never used it. It's just sitting in my collection again. But these are all shimmers right here. I don't know if you can see it, but this side here, these three pans here are like shimmers. So for eyeshadow today. I'm going to use my subculture palette from Anastasia Bever Ooh, what? Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is from the Lavender Lux collection from BH Cosmetics. This is like the like a blending brush. And I'm gonna pick up the shade Dawn right here. You see how powdery it is? And just put that all over the crease and all over the lid. All right, next shade I'm gonna use in the palette is the shade down here. Kind of like coral-ish, Roxy. <laughs> That's how she looks like. I need my wet and wild grease brush. Where is it? <laughs> so not ready, guys. Give me a sec. Let's, let's try to use this kind of flat-ish. This is from Morphe. I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna use. Not use, but I don't know what kind of look I am going to do today. I'm not worried about blending. I'm just putting a color on my crease right now and just packing it. Okay. With my wet and wild blending brush, I am going to pick up the shade All Star. I'm going to pick up this shade right here. Uh, is my camera going to focus ever? Right here, All Star. And then just kind of concentrate her on the top crease. A lot of people don't like this palette. I don't know if I like this palette or I don't know, I can't remember. I have this in my collection for a while now. I don't know, it's 2020 now, but I am still using the subculture palette. <laughs> Whatever. But you know what? I feel like it's okay to do that because, I mean, it is like, uh, well, I got this from TJ Maxx. <laughs> For like $24, but that's still a lot of money. It's not really like a tutorial on how to use this palette. That's not what my purpose is with this video. My purpose is that... Oh, I'm moving my camera. My purpose is that to just hang out with you guys. There's nothing wrong with playing with old makeup, okay? So, again, do you. Alright, next shade I'm gonna pick up in the palette is this one right here. Let me just take this and spray my brush. You know, when you're not using high-end product, guys, 
like me you don't even know how to do this <laughs> you don't even know how to do this i don't because i don't because i don't because i don't there we go she is so hard-headed <laughs> Alright guys, so moving on, I'm gonna just leave the ice alone, but this is what I am currently situated right now. But let me just put some eyeliner on and some lashes, and I'm gonna be back in just a few seconds. But, okay. <laughs> Alright, so for eyeliner, so for eyeliner, I'm gonna be using, this is the clearance that I'm talking about. <laughs> this is the CoverGirl Intensify Me Liquid eyeliner and this has a micro fine tip i got this for under five dollars which is 488 exactly a target target so yeah let me just put this on and this is in the shade 300 intense black and for the eyelashes today i am going to use the aoa studio lashes this is their 3d lashes this is in the style melissa all right guys so i'm gonna see you in just a few minutes you guys are now i'm back with eyelashes on and my eyeliner on with a little tiny wing so i got something to tell you this covergirl eyeliner is not fun she's so hard-headed she's so stubborn and she don't want to cooperate with me i don't know about this when i put it on action she's not doing anything so mm, let's just move forward because you know i can't wait to get this video over so and i'm also running late I'm always late. Alright guys, so let's move on to our face makeup. We're gonna go back to the eyes for the inner corner, lower lash line, and all that good stuff. So, let's go ahead and move on. But before that, let me just refresh my face with the Refresh Coking Setting. It's coking? What? Alright, so let's go ahead. <laughs> Perfect. My battery is low. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and move on to our face. I'm gonna use a face mist this is the refresh hydrating setting mist from koki it's really refreshing it's very 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 nice and so hydrating into your face where's my fan what i'm doing so let's go ahead and move on to our face primer as you can see guys i got a lot of situation in here acne is not going anywhere so we are just going to deal with her. Alright, so for today's face primer, this is actually not a brand new, but it's a brand new, brand new to me. Because this is my first time that I'm going to use this. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Face Primer. I heard a lot of people like a dupe for the high-end Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which I don't have. This girl is not gonna buy high-end unless it's from Fenty. Mm. I love Bendy. Right, so moving on, let's go ahead and put this. And I love the packaging. It comes in a pump. Mm, it is kind of like sticky feeling. It is, mm, it is tacky, sticky. I have this stacky, stacky, sticky feeling. So, but then after you put it, it's not sticky at all. No more sticky feeling once it's laid down in your face. So for the foundation today, I am going to use the Revlon Photo Candid Natural Finish Foundation. Natural? For some reason, I know guys, I have been telling you that... Uh, eh, give me one second guys. I need to go into the sink and dump this beauty blender and I'm gonna be back. Alright guys, so I'm back from the sink. <laughs> from the sink? Yeah, so um, this one is actually a natural finish foundation, which I don't know if that's going to be a good one today. I want something that will cover my situation going on here. My face or my skin is acting so, so bad. So, so bad as you can see here. I need some coverage, you guys. So I'm just pump some in my hand and I am actually in the shade 430 Honey Beige. It has a very, very minimal coverage, you guys. It is a pretty finish, though. But it's not a full coverage. By the way, guys, this is the Wet n Wild sponge. Actually, a beautiful foundation if you don't have... I guess if you don't have a lot to cover, it's actually good. But, um, And also for, like, everyday foundation, this might be good.
So I believe, I feel like if you have a healthier skin, this is going to be a nice foundation, to be honest. Alright guys, so moving on with the concealer, I am also going to use the concealer that comes with it. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer. I pick up the shade Medium Deep. Oh, it comes with this a little wand, so mm, applicator is nice. Going back in with my blender, blend that. We're trying to make it work. Let me just use this small mochi blender. This is from Shop Miss A. I love using this, especially for the inner corners that your big beauty blender can't go over into. So this is this is really really good. Alright guys, to set the face, I am going to use the CoverGirl Loose Setting Powder. This is their True Blend Mineral Setting Powder. I got the shade 300 Medium, which I know it's I know it's pretty dark. I guess it is dark. <laughs> and does this powder off? Definitely not um, brightening under the eye, but I'm gonna use it to re to set the rest of my face, and just you know what I'm tired of get being afraid of what I'm doing. So hell for it. Let's just set the entire face with this powder. So on the middle of me setting my face with a loose setting powder, it, my camera died on me and so I just continuously set my face and then went ahead and charged my battery. But with that, what I skipped was I put this um, NYX HD setting finishing powder in the shade Banana just for my under eye to kind of like... Um, brighten that part right there because it's not really really brightened i feel like the loose setting powder that i set my whole entire face and even my under eye was actually kind of dark so i put this on top just to kind of like lighten that up but so yeah for my bronzer today i am going to use my rimmel london natural bronzer and this is in the shade 0 to 7 sun dance also i tried to use this one brush but i feel like it's too big so i am going to switch on my young blood cosmetics it's like a pointed um small pointed could be contour or blush brush but i'm just going to use for the bronzer today they are on instagram i actually won this brush set in their giveaway which i am so glad I'm just trying to bronze as much as I can. And so with that, let's move on to our blush, which I'm excited. I like blushes now. And for today's brushes, I am going to use this Pixi palette plus Chloe Morelio. I'm gonna use just this two right here. This one <laughs> where you can see it. This one and this one. I'm gonna skip the middle one. So I'm gonna like do it like this and do it like that and blush away. Some people were like, you put a ton of blush and I'm like, <laughs> I like it. Get a life, girl, get a life. I'm okay, I'm okay with my blush. I don't know if you can see guys, but it has like a sheen into it. So with that, I'm not looking at the camera. <laughs> Focus. Of course, my NYX tinted the brow gel to kind of like set all these brows because they're kind of wild. Alright guys, so I feel like even the bronzer didn't really give me much. But <sighs> I'm putting back bronzer. I already put my blush and going back with a bronzer. Ah, who is she? Do whatever you like it. So moving on, let's go ahead and do our highlight. I am going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. This is in the shade Precious Petals. And I'm just gonna whirl in this little pan. Folks, this highlighter is no kidding. Wet and wild! It's no joke. So, moving on, let's go ahead and put on this All Star shade. I'm gonna put that and finish the lower lash line. I'm just gonna like push this guy in the waterline. 
Let me just go back to the palette and then just dip into the shade cube right here with Morphe M506. For today's lashes, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. I've been using this non-stop. I actually have a new one, but that's going to come to my next video. Um, it's not really, really new, but um, going to be new in my channel, so I'm excited about it. Moving on to the lips, I am going to use, this is the Koki Velvet Smooth Lip Liner in the shade Mauve Nude for the lip color today. This is also a clearance. I had it from Target and this is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Liquid Lipstick. This is their Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. So I'm trying to have this combo. And then I'm gonna go in first with um, 844 Sweet Tooth. I'm blending it. So I'm gonna tap that off with this 354 Nudist. They have scent over them, like a chocolate scent. I don't know if I personally like this um, combo might be not I actually have another color here it's called 854 bittersweet but it's too off so let me just put some gloss on it on top of it essence shine shine clear gloss all right guys so that's all I have for you in today's video stretch i finally got into the finish line so guys a little rundown of the products that i use for today's video all right so let's start with this eyeliner okay this cover girl intensify me eyeliner is not really my favorite because it just doesn't do anything to me it was just like not so pigmented it doesn't glide into your eyeliner you get me so yeah and instead of using this because this one is so stubborn i put this baby up in action and this is the physician's formula i booster two in one lash boosting eyeliner plus a serum so i put this one up instead of this covergirl one next the revlon photo ready candid and the concealer now if you are a natural finish kind of gal you will probably enjoy this one the finish is so beautiful but the downside on this the concealer and the foundation especially is it's Coverage doesn't cover a lot of things or acne that you're going on in there. So if you are like a full coverage person, you probably won't enjoy this one. You probably want to pass on this. Also, what's other clear ones? Like, yeah, the lip combos that I had um, showed today, this lip combos. I actually end up liking it. It's very, very nude. But I don't really go into this nude color like this. I feel like it's too muted for my skin tone. This kind of nude color don't complement my skin. So I don't gravitate toward this. But I really like it. I like the finish. I like it's very, very pigmented. It's very, very nice on the skin. One swipe is really, really nice. So I kind of like it. This is like a happy medium to me so far in this video. All right, guys. So that's all I have for you for today. I hope you have a fantastic January so far. We were just like um, kicking the first month of the year. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you won't get sick. I feel like I'm going to catch a cold, but we were going to roll with it as per usual. So yeah, that's all I have for you today, guys. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. I hope you have a safe kickoff of this year 2020 so yeah i'll see you guys on my next one bye